With the success of the John Wick franchise uh, over the last several years, it's pretty strange that there aren't any real John Wick games out there except for one, which is a real-time strategy. It's called John Wick Hex, which, and there, listen, there's nothing wrong with uh, real-time strategy games, but I, my guess is, is that most people, when they search for John Wick-style games in their on their keyboards and on their computers and on their phones, uh, that's not the kind of game they're looking for. What they're probably looking for is something a little closer to this. Suit for Hire comes in as a top-down shooter that adds elements of martial arts, melee combat, some things that you wouldn't necessarily expect um, to be done as well as this game actually does. It's in a small developer named Gone Mode Interactive uh, makes this game and the gunplay is, is definitely satisfying and you do have some Wick-esque moments uh, throughout this entire playthrough. Whether it be Judo throwing somebody and then popping a cap right in their noggin or uh, simply just one-shotting enemies from across a map and in close quarters. This game really does, I mean, there isn't anything that feels more like you're playing as John Wick than this game does. Um, and in that way, it is a hell of a lot of fun. Now, I can't recommend this game yet, and the reason for that is, unfortunately, uh, kind of a dumb one. Now, let me back that up. It's not necessarily a dumb one. This is a very small developer, which I do realize, um, but... I didn't know when I bought this game, which was 15 bucks on Steam, which in and of itself is uh, not a ton of money, but when I played it, I was just starting to get into the hang of it and starting to figure some things out and feeling pretty comfortable, and it was about that moment that I had finished the game. It took about uh, maybe an hour and 45 minutes to two hours um, on the first playthrough, you know, and I died a lot <laughs> uh, during that time, so it was a little disappointing. Now, that being said, if you are um, a PC gamer right now and you have Steam, I would very much recommend that you at least keep an eye for this game because um, their community page is fairly active uh, from the dev at uh, devs, <laughs> and uh, they're going to be making updates uh, soon, uh, more weapons, uh, more content, uh, which is the big thing. This game needs to be longer. It needs to be a lot longer, like four to ten times longer. Um, for this to be something that I, I think I would recommend personally to anyone that watches this channel. Um, but even though, I, like I said, I can't recommend it right now, if this game gets you know, content relatively soon um, and enough of it to make it you know, worth spending some time playing, the gameplay itself is just absolutely brilliant. Um, and like I said, it really feels John Wick. And in, in fact, when I save gameplay footage from this, it gets saved into a folder called Thin Wick. So should you buy it? I would say probably no right now, but definitely put it on your wish list. Keep an eye on it if you've got Steam. Um, I have a feeling this game will, will get is going to be getting some good support here uh, over the next few months, and um, I'm in, I'm very much looking forward to getting back to this game um, once there's more to play. But uh, that's all I got for you today. Just a little taste of some fun stuff. I hope you guys are having a great uh, start to your week. Uh, happy Monday to you, and uh, we'll see you later.